Hello guys, in this video I will show you 10 things you must do after installing Ubuntu. So let's get started. First of all, go to your dash home and write here update and here you can see software updater. Just click it and it will check if there are any updates for your Ubuntu softwares. So even if you have installed the latest version of Ubuntu, it's a better idea to update your software. So you can see here there are some uh, software available which needs to be updated in my system. So I will just click install and then I have to provide the authentication. So I will give my Ubuntu password and click enter and it will update all the software which needs to be updated in my system. So while this is updating I will show you the second uh, important thing you must do. So just go to Ubuntu Software Center. This is a very useful utility in order to install some of the very important and very useful software. So first thing you uh, need to do here just go at the top and search for the restricted extras and you will find here Ubuntu restricted extras and he, by installing this so just go here and just press this install button so it will allow you to uh, play mp3 avi mpeg and flash and other uh, files which are restricted copyrights. So just press install and it will install this on your system. Okay. So, so just do that. And the other important thing is you must uh, install some of the media players. So very uh, useful media player is a VLC media player. So just search for VLC media player and just select it and install VLC media player and it will play your uh, media stuff from VLC media player. And when you freshly install Ubuntu, it doesn't have any uh, photo editor or image editor. So here you can find a uh, very good image editors also so just write uh, for example I want to uh, install a GIMP image editor so just write GIMP here and it's a very useful image editor for the uh, professionals also and for the hobby uh, hobby also so just install from here it's free to install so just click install and you you will be good to go now uh, when you, ha you have freshly installed uh, Ubuntu by default it installs uh, this uh, Firefox browser for you but if you want uh, any other browser you can search for uh, Chromium which is a uh, Chrome type browser so write chromium here and you can see chromium web browser here so if you like uh, chrome then you can install this chromium also and i will also provide the link how you can install uh, actual google chrome on your ubuntu operating system so just click the link and that there I have provided the description how to install Google Chrome on your Ubuntu operating system. Now if you want to uh, play some flash files Ubuntu uh, by default don't have any flash player so you can find uh, the flash player also from here so just write flash here and it will search for the Adobe Flash plugin so just install this um, plugin for Mozilla you can see here the Adobe Flash uh, plugin is available for Mac Mozilla and you will be able to uh, play the flash 
files after installing this plugin before uh, installing uh, or, or when you freshly install ubuntu this plugin is not available so you will not be able to uh, play some of the flash files so it's good idea to install this flash player now if you are a programmer and if you want to program some of the important uh, i mean softwares for example c and java there is a very good ide called eclipse you can see here eclipse and it has both c++ support and also java support also so in the more just click this more info and you can see here for java you need to install this jdt and for c++ you need to install this cdt plugin so i will also provide the link how you can install eclipse with this cdt uh, plugin and you will be able to uh, run and build your uh, c++ program and java program after installing this eclipse it's a very good ide and uh, many professional industries or professional companies use this ide to make their softwares now if you want to specifically build a c++ and c program what you need to do is you need to install a tool chain for c and c++ so that you will be able to compile your c or c++ program so just open your terminal by clicking here and just provide uh, this command sudo apt minus get install build essential so it will install all the build essential by the name itself it's clear that it will install build essential which is necessary to build your program especially c and c++ and all the other java and uh, other utilities also it will be able to uh, install so just provide this command and press enter and it will ask for your password and give your uh, ubuntu password and it will be installed in your system and right now i have uh, already installed this uh, uh, build and essential so i don't need to install this and if you want to specially uh, build uh, java programs then you must have latest jdk in your system so once again go to your terminal and here provide this command sudo apt minus get install open jdk minus the version latest version right now i am installing uh, version 7 so just give this 7 dash jdk and i will also provide the detailed uh, link so that you can see how you can install just jdk in your system so after installing this jdk you will be able to uh, compile and run java programs uh, in your system now if you are uh, migrating from windows uh, operating system to uh, ubuntu then uh, uh, it's a good idea to install uh, wine wine is a utility from which you would be able to uh, install some of your windows software in your ubuntu operating system so for example you want to install notepad plus plus in your system and the installer available for notepad plus plus is only available for windows so if you have a wine installed you will be able to install notepad plus plus even on your ubuntu operating system so for example you can see here i have already installed notepad plus plus in my ubuntu operating system so you need to give this command sudo apt minus get install wine and it will install wine in your uh, system and then you would be able to uh, install some of the important windows software on your ubuntu operating system and uh, for a detailed uh, link i will provide a link 
for a detailed installation of this wine uh, in, uh, software in your system so just click that link and just see that now you may also want to install a webcam on your ubuntu operating system by default you will not find any uh, webcam utility uh, here so once again go to your uh, ubuntu software center and here search for cheese and here you will be able to find this cheese webcam booth and this is a software by using uh, this software you can take photos and videos with your webcam so it's a very good webcam tool for your ubuntu operating system so just click install and it will install this cheese webcam booth for your ubuntu operating system and the last thing i will show you if you have uh, any so, uh, website or if you need a ftp server to upload your uh, uh, website on your uh, on your server then you can uh, install file zilla and it's also a free uh, download and it's a free uh, FTP server so you can just upload your files to your website via this FTP server so just select it and install it and you will be good to go so these are the 10 important things you must do after installing your Ubuntu operating system I hope you have enjoyed this videos and keep watching these videos and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now